Okay, we're going to talk today about how to use the library's database searching system to find magazine articles. Okay, so how I always go into the searching system where we search all library databases, I go in right here. I just click advanced search. So just the whole thing comes open and I can see all of the different options available to me. I have all these boxes. I just, that's just how I like to do it. Now, by default, you'll notice on the library webpage also that peer reviewed limiter is turned on. Now, if you're just, if that stays on, and you'll notice here it's turned on right here as well. If that turns on, if that's kept clicked on, it'll only find articles from peer reviewed academic journals, very high level research technical journals. Now, sometimes you might just want to look for magazine articles or newspaper articles or something like that. So, what I'm going to do first. You, you could just turn this off immediately. I'm going to show you what happens. You, you can turn it off at any point in your search. I'll just do a quick search here. Let's do college, career, transition. You can do a search here. And like I said, you could turn this limiter off at any point in your search. I'll just show it here one step at a time. So let's say I left it on in my search and then I realized I would rather look for just magazine articles. So you can see from the titles of the, the journals, it's coming back from really high level research journals, which is great if that's what you're looking for. But let's say we want to look for magazines. The first thing I would do is take this limiter off. So right there over on the left, I'm just going to unclick that. So we'll take the peer reviewed limiter off. And so it's going through those and it's now removing anything or it's, or it's including things that weren't included before. So you'll see all the same articles, but a lot more articles now will be showing up and you're noticing books in there too. Now you're seeing all kinds of interesting things in here that you weren't seeing before. So what I'd like to do now is I want to just look at the magazine articles. So right over here where it says limit by source type, I'm going to click magazines and this will bring me up just popular magazine articles. So it's going through its list and found some good stuff there. That one right there looks, looks pretty good. And these are all still from uh, professional publications. They're, they're just not necessarily the higher level, um, peer reviewed journals. They're, they're, they're from regular popular magazines that are, would be a lot easier to understand articles written at a much more basic level. And a, a lot of times these are very, very useful. They're still all professional publications. It's just, they're going to be more basic. And sometimes these are, these are going to be great for you. So there you go. One other thing I can't resist doing, we might want to change the date there so that it doesn't go back to 1941. Maybe we'll go 2017 to 2021. And let's take a look here. Now you have to be careful. Sometimes when you do these searches and you change parameters like that, sometimes it will take off the limiter. So I will just double check. So that's still unclicked, which is what I want. And it's still limited to magazines, which is good. So limiting the date took it from about 1400 articles down to a little over 200. So there you go. There's a quick guide for how you could use the library database search discovery system to just look specifically for magazine articles. Hopefully that makes sense to you.